Uh, excited for the win. Winning is hard. We got to enjoy them. And uh, looking forward to now, uh, you know, thinking about the Caymans. Coach, a little bit of a shorter bench tonight. Was, um, was this available? Uh, well, he could have been. Um, we, we've had a, like the flu bug running through the team this week. And uh, he, was, he was pretty bad yesterday. And I was just, you know, trying to see if we could, like, get him an extra day of rest so that he could uh, be better in the Caymans. Do you feel like there were stretches with a holiday break coming up that were just kind of lack of focus for a little bit? No, I thought Coach Menzies did a great job in the zone uh, and his man switching. Sometimes he would switch from zone to man on two passes, sometimes on four passes. You know, they switched up. So we weren't allowed to – We it took away our ability to wear them down on the offensive end to play with pace, you know. And so um, that, that really slowed the game down the second half. Uh, in the first half, I thought when they were in the zone – other than a few lapses, uh, we got pretty good shots, and Cam Carter did a great job. Keontae did a good job of, of making shots. And so, but in the second half, yeah, I give him credit for what they did on their end. Going up against a defense that does what you just mentioned like that, is that kind of a good learning point to, to move forward? Yeah, we're going to look at it and figure out how some things that we can do different. We were able just to run zone sets against the zone. I thought we got good looks, and when we were able to run man sets against the man, we got good looks. And so now we have to learn how, when they stall us, how to like keep that thing moving. And so I, I think that this is really going to help us. And when you guys go down to the Caymans, obviously you anticipate playing a lot of games in a short amount of time. Um, how important is it to use pretty much everybody that's going to be available on the bench when you're down there? Um, Man, we're going to use whoever we need to use to figure out how to win that game. You know, and the hardest game to win is the first one, and uh, we're going to do what we got to do. And if it means playing 11, we'll play 11. If it's playing 6, we'll play 6, whatever it takes. Joe, they were pretty close rebounding-wise. What Was it just something they were doing, or was, was it kind of an effort situation? Or? Did you see them? They are huge. I mean, they are huge. Like, um, they're probably as big of a team as we're going to face all year long. And so, yeah, it was, they were just huge. A part of the rebounding thing, though, too, is that, like, I think we lost by one defensive rebound. We, uh, we had more offensive rebounds than they did, I believe. And, uh, but when you turn them over 22 times, that's 22 shots they don't get up that, give you a chance to defensive rebound. So those numbers get skewed in, in that also. You like to go two for one at the end of first half a bit this year. We're able to tonight. Uh, what's oh, kind he of the did approach? a good job. Yeah, we didn't get it off quick enough. I was hoping to get the shot up a little bit quicker so that we had that chance. Yeah, but out there, you thought you had a chance there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, he, Coach Menzi, they, they did a good job. But we got to turnover. And then we didn't secure the ball that would have gotten us the second shot. So here we talked to Desi and Cam and Keontae just a bit ago. They talked about the thing that they were probably disappointed the most was their own defensive communication. Was that kind of a point of emphasis after the game when you spoke to them? Yeah, we're going we'll to go back and look at it, you know, see how much of it was their communication, how much of it was the staff's game plan, you know, and, and we're going to look at that. Everybody has to look themselves in the mirror and figure out how we can do better and uh, to help the team, so we'll, we'll look into that. How meaningful can it be for a guy like Cam Carter to kind of see the ball go in the hoop a few times like it did in the first half? No, it's, it's great, and I, I was very disappointed that he didn't get another catch-and-shoot three attempt in the second half. And, you know, as, as teammates, when you have a teammate who's going like that, that that's got to be something that you're actively seeking, you know, like well, let's keep him rolling, you know, and, and so that, that, that we're going to look at and address. Um, Desi, obviously, in the last few minutes, went on a pretty big heater there with a couple of layups, took that charge. How important is it to have someone who's a little bit older, maybe a little bit more experienced, kind of take over a leadership role 
on the court where the game's kind of close at the end and he steps up and makes those plays. But you know, uh, I feel like we've brought in multiple guys who at any point in time, can sc they can score double figures. And so when they were focused, obviously, on Marquise, making it hard on him, they were focused on Keontae, right? And so that's when Desi was had his opportunities because they can't take everything away. And so you appreciate his toughness and, uh, you know, just his aggressiveness there at the end, wanting to do what it takes for us to win. And then obviously at Cal, like you said, Marquise and Keontae were kind of the ones to step up in the closing minutes. And tonight you have Desi do it. How important is it to have multiple guys you can step up in those closing minutes and get you a bucket or take a key charge like you did tonight? No, it's, it's very important it's to, to have balance, you know, to have a balanced team. That's, uh, we talk about that all the time. I tell them, you know, I want different guys at the podium after every game. You know, my goal is to have nine guys interviewed by um, Chris Button or uh, Holly Rowe after the game, you know, the nine different dudes on nine different games. You know, that's, 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 that's the goal. So you can, when you have that kind of balance, it's hard for the other team to prepare for you. And then Desi said that he thinks that they might be playing the score a little bit too much um, considering – lead that kind of went away tonight and at Cal. Can you agree with that or what's your assessment of that kind of opinion that he has? There, there's a maturity that our team has to continue to make that's going to allow us to play every possession. Like we talk about going 1-0 and uh, every possession and I, I don't know that we, we've, ex we've executed that yet. I know stats aren't everything but you look down you got uh, Bebe and David combining for three and under ten. Uh, at the center position tonight, what do you want to see more out of that spot moving forward? Well, I, I would like to see them make layups. And uh, I, I thought we had opportunities for layups that they turned into jump shots. And so we're going to go back and show them and see where they can have some opportunities there. Um, you know, I, I felt like uh, those guys drifted too much tonight rather than staying close to the rim because it should have been – the game plan was to get them more scores two feet in the paint facing the goal, and um, we didn't execute that part of it. And wh where did you think the energy level was from your guys at the very start not, of the not game? Very good. Not very good. Even when we were up, I didn't think we had great energy. I thought we allowed them to run their offense. Um, not what I feel like we're used to. Now, now, part of that is what we've gone through the last few days, having multiple guys sick, not, you know, with the flu or whatever it is that they've had where they have to miss practice or not be able to practice as much and stuff. So, you know, that, that, that could be part of it. You know, part of it is human nature. Maybe they were thinking about the islands before it came and, you know, um, but it's always good to learn from a win. And so we're going we're gonna to learn some stuff from this. Another highlight real pass from Noel to Dunk. Are they practicing that, or are they taking time in the gym to work on those kind of plays? I think Keith has a, um, a knack uh, a f for the flair, for the flashy play, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously the fans like it and all of that, but it's still two points, right? And, uh, you know, uh, um, I'm glad the fans like it. Yeah, Coach, I, I was just curious if you could uh, talk a little bit about more about Cam and that first half and the way he was shooting it. Man, Cam Carter worked really hard, right? Like, I mean, he is relentless in the gym. And, um, and he knew he had to improve his shooting, right? And the fact that he's being rewarded for all that hard work, it, it's a joy as a coach to see. And, um, you know, he – Probably could have made eight tonight if we had gotten him enough looks, and so we gotta, we gotta figure that out. What do you figure his potential to be this season? It, it's been nice to be able to see him, you know, progress these first couple games. I, I just, I just want to see him keep getting better, right? And keep getting better. And I tell the guys this, you know, winning allows everyone to achieve what they want to achieve, right? And so let, let's focus on winning, and then all the other things, his potential, all those things will come. Coach, do you have a, a number on how many perfect minutes of basketball you played tonight? No, no, it didn't even feel like, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah I'd, I, we weren't our, like, it wasn't, I had to, like, keep reminding myself, like, hey, stay, stay positive, stay up, because it just, it wasn't, 
there. I mean, I, I think you all saw it, right? There was, we didn't have as many hustle plays. There wasn't many deflections. It just, it just wasn't there for whatever reason, right? And maybe we practiced too long. Maybe, you know, we're going to go look at everything to figure out how to, how to, how to get it right. Maybe it's the 530 game instead of the 7 o'clock game. You know, it just, uh, there could be a bunch of variables, but we didn't have the energy we needed to have today uh, for enough of a, I don't think we improved in our minutes today. And it seems like Kansas City kind of gave you some struggles on inbounds plays. Is that something you guys can improve on? Uh, they, they run this, um, it's a tricky zone thing. And when we ran, when we executed our play right, Keontae got a three in the corner and he got a drive on the baseline. And then I think we got another um, drive or it would have been a wide open three if we had reversed the ball uh, one more time. So, you know, I mean, we, we could pretty much get what we wanted from it. We had to execute it. Coach, I want to ask you, we've seen all around college basketball some Power 5 schools lose to non-Power 5 schools. Just you, you sit here and talk about you have to remind yourself, enjoy the win. But is that even more true to just realize, hey, we won considering what's going on around college basketball. Yeah, I mean, just think about this. Uh, I think Coach Menzies has 11 new guys on his team, and I mean, they're not they're not babies. Those those are grown men out there, right? And so this game was scheduled uh, before I got here, and I mean, just think about some of the other games, like the Pac-12 schools going to, going on the road to SWAC schools, and I mean, you see it all. There's there's such parity now because of the transfer portal. Right, and so and so you don't know what you're running into when you schedule the game a year out or, or two years. So, you know, it's, you have to enjoy these wins, man. Uh, I mean, A&M just got ranked 25th, 24th in the country, and they go out to Myrtle Beach and, and lose to Murray State. You know, I mean, you, you, so you got to enjoy the wins and um, and then learn from what, what you can. So. I, I just want to just uh, my my thoughts and prayers go out to Tony Bennett and the the group at Virginia, the football staff there, the young men uh, who lost their lives, and um, we're praying for healing. Uh, it, it's tough. It, it's tough. I know they're gonna play Baylor tomorrow night, and um, uh, we just 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 watching those kids. I think I saw, I saw uh, one of their teams compete uh, the other night, and. The coach after the game, she couldn't even enjoy it, you know, because they were hurting. And so, uh, college basketball, college staffs across the country, we we, we mourn the loss of, um, you know, senseless loss of lives, and just 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 pray for those families involved.